Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Gerd channel. I'm Joe Gerd, as you all know. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is going to be my last dip video. Today I'm dipping on the usual, I already got a pinch in. I'm down to like my last pinch in this can. To my last can for a while. Which is going to suck. Like, I maybe have half a pinch in there. And it's literally juicy because I have this problem, like I've said before. Um, that can has been that can's been here for been open for a week. I've been trying to take my time with it, and you know my two bit sense on how long a can should last. I think it's up to the dipper. My uncle said a can should at least last you at least three to four days. I, for me, a can should last me at least four or five days. Sometimes a can will last me a little bit less time than that, depending on how stressful, how stress, how much stress I've had while dipping that can. Like when I first started, I was going, I was going through a can the same as now, about a week. And then, you know, I was going through a can about every two, two and a half, three days, which wasn't too bad. And then it got to a can would last me two, a half, one and a half days. And then I got back to where a can was lasting me three and four days. That's what I try to stick to is like four to five days. So this can's last me a week. And when a can's last you that long, you're going to have to put a little... Um, like, you're gonna have to moisten it up. Which I did this morning, and I got a little too much in there. I used sweetened tea, which is better than water. Water seems to make the flavor not last so long. It just dulls the flavor. Like, you put it in, that's, that's as strong as the flavor's gonna get. But I always have the habit of putting a little too much water in there, or too much liquid in my dip. So that's what I'm having now. So the major topic of today is I don't know if I'm gonna make videos outside of when I get another dip. <clears throat> you guys can always count on the next time I get a can, I'm gonna be making a video. But I don't know if I'm going to keep making videos past then like I have been. I don't know if I'm going to make a video. For sure, you know, if I do make a video and not dipping, it's not going to be like my normal schedule. It's going to be like maybe once every two weeks or once a week or something like that. I don't know. Because without dipping, honestly, there really isn't much to my videos. You know, other than, like, I do get some topics and I do talk about them and shit. But what my main thing for my channel is, is I'm a dipper. I'm a YouTube dipper. Even though I'm pretty small. i got 25 subscribers. Oh, yeah, thank you guys for subscribing. But most of my things have to do with dip and shit. So I don't know how that's going to work. Now, you guys, I will make update videos of how I'm doing and shit to make you <laughs> to make sure you guys know I'm alive and I'm not quitting YouTube. That's the one thing, you guys. I gotta ex I gotta express is I'm not quitting YouTube and I'm not quitting Deppin. I'm going through sort of what Redneck Canadians going through, where I'm at a lack of money, a lack of funds. I mean, I have internet. It's not, it's not as bad as what Redneck Canadian had to go through. But I'm not going to have money for dip. So. That's just how it is. I mean, like I, I tried to express this during the summer. Is that, you know. I wish I would have started making YouTube videos. While 
I was, you know, had the dip, all the dip I had. Because I had quite a bit and I could have made quite a bit of videos. And one thing I was really kicking my ass for was just because while I was started dipping in the months before I started making YouTube videos, I was dumb and I was dating. Oh, you know, I was, was still with my ex, and I got a cell phone, and that cut my debt money like one, three fourths of the money I could have had and spent on debt. And I was kicking my ass in the summer. Well, right after I broke up with her, I was like, God damn it! All the debt money I could had saved up, I. Went out on a limb and made it easier to contact and stay in contact with my girlfriend, but that didn't work. It was a waste of money, and I don't know why I kept doing it. I still had hope because I was stupid in love. But, you know, you, uh, you live and you learn. You win some, you lose some. So I got to deal with that. Of not being able to have dip for a while. And that's what I want to express. I'm not quitting dipping. Like I said earlier. That's not what's happening. I just can't dip. Because I'm out of cash. And, and like I said. Started going through what Redneck Canadian was going, was going through. Just a little easier. Like I still have internet access. And I still have like lights. I just won't be able to buy dip. Because shit comes first. So, oh, uh, if I make a video outside dip, it's going to be an update video on how things are going, how I'm doing, and I'm letting you guys know I'm still alive. Um, I'll probably make them once every two weeks or so. Because hopefully by then, shit, some shit has had some shit, some interesting shit's happened. And there'll be a lot more interesting videos outside of dip. Hopefully. That's what I'm hoping on. But the one thing you guys can bank on is when I get another can, there'll be for sure another video. Because for one, when I started dipping, I knew I was going to fucking dip for life. I don't care if I got mouth cancer. I got two fucking sets of lips. Fucking put I'll put up daggers in. Fuck it. If I don't have a tongue, I'll use my goddamn fingers. And if someone complains, fuck them. I'm not gonna quit dipping no matter what. Not until I'm fucking put in the grave. I just gotta take a break. I just can't dip because of money. Like I posted it in DU, Dip University. Money nowadays is in shirt supply and everything everything takes it. Nothing in this world is free. And that's the sad point is that you know, everything takes a great deal of money anymore. Why? Because our our economy is just still in the shitter. People are, people are people are saying, Oh no, it's getting back on its seat. No it's not. If it was still getting it back if it was getting on its feet we would we wouldn't have people out of jobs we w shit wouldn't be like there wouldn't be an infatuation with money there wouldn't be money issues around you know um people wouldn't have hard times i mean people are gonna have hard times regardless but there wouldn't be like it is now i mean back in the day my grandma always tell stories, and even when my mom was younger, and in high school, which was right around the 80s and 90s, shit wasn't that hard back then. It's just in the recent, like, 10 to 13 years, well, no, 10 years, there's things that start to go in the shitter. And I don't think they're ever going to, they're going to start looking up. As soon as we, 
the people and our government gets our head gets our heads out of our ass. That's just me. And if you agree, you agree. If you don't, you don't. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. But that's why. Another thing I got I got another thing uh, my two bits on tip slots is I don't think I don't like them really. Because they give a bad name to the chicks who dip, actually dip, and respect themselves. Don't get me wrong, I think it's hot that they do it like that, but I don't... It's kind of a, an oxymoron. Yeah, it's hot. But yeah, it gives them, it gives the people, the chick dippers a bad name. Because for one, zip sluts don't actually really dip. Some of them might do. But a lot of them don't. And they're all on social media sites. You see them all the time. I know plenty of chick dippers. Who have enough respect. You know. They're going to take a dip photo. Or dip pic. But it's sure in the hell not going to be of them holding cans. They're putting cans in their panties. Or holding them over their nips. They're going to be a fucking dip in their lip. And they're going to be like this. There's the, you know, some people might be like, that's disgusting, but they're going to show you that I got a dip in their lip. And they're go, there's going to be a picture of them holding a can, and they're going to show them their dip, man. They're like this. Yeah, I got a dip, man. But. Oh, yeah. I'm still dipping. They're spitting in the bottle. I haven't got one yet. I haven't talked to my buddy since that. Since that weekend, which I, I should have uh, called him by the end, by now, but I don't know if he's working or not. Last time I talked to him, he's supposed to be working in Wisconsin starting this month. So I'm waiting on him to contact me again. But. To let you guys know, I'm not quit dipping. No, I just gotta take a break what? due to financial due to my financial situation. And I will make update videos outside of when I get a can. They're not gonna be. They're gonna be about every two weeks. So please don't unsubscribe. Because once I get a steady supply of dip, I will be making them back to where I was. And hopefully that's a bit, that'll, that'll be a better time. My life will probably be a lot more interesting by then because the shit will happen. So please stay tuned for that. And I want to give a great thanks to, like I said in my last video. I'm not going to give shout outs in these past videos because, for one, this is my last dip video. Until I get another can, but won't be for a while. So I'm gonna give a shout out to everybody who's giving me a shout out, and everybody who subscribed to me. And I'll still watch you guys' videos. I'll still comment on you guys' videos. That's one thing you guys can count on. I'm not dropping off the face of the universe, but thank you all it means a lot. And. And I'm going to cut this off here in a little bit. So thank you everybody who subscribed to me. Who has subscribed to me. And who has given me shout outs. Uh, shout out to everybody. Um, who's given me shout outs and who has subscribed to me. Y'all know who you are. And I just want to wish you guys luck. And keep on dipping. And always remember to keep a lip, keep a lip packed and a can handy because life is better with a pants. See you guys in the next video.